Hey there folks, welcome back. It's Time Baby Shirley here and we are on day three of the Gummy Pan Advent Calendar. So I have gone ahead and opened it already but you haven't seen it. And, well, you will have probably in some other videos. So we've got some a line of jigsaw pieces. I was not sure what to do with this at all. I was totally bamboozled. So what am I going to do? I have got other jigsaw pieces, but they're much bigger than this. Um, so they wouldn't really go along with this. So I had a few ideas. So what I've did is I have gone ahead and cut out, use this patterned paper, and I've go, gone ahead and cut out a few pieces already. And what I thought I would do is I would just cut into them a bit and just try and make up the jigsaw, basically. <laughs> um, and put it on the front of this card. So I may need another piece of card here. And I may, may, may cut this down. So I've got another piece of that, but let's see. I just, I probably will cut this a bit. It doesn't need the whole um, I could do a landscape actually as well which is another idea so that's what I propose to do so it's just some patterned paper that has a moustache um, this is actually another piece of it oh no that's not it there it's this one so that's what it was so it's this paper and I just thought I'd use that to do the pattern the paper i could have done a, a few other things oh did i get rid of one there what happened where did that go <laughs> oh, it's hiding under there <laughs> um i did think about stamping i did think about coloring in and then i thought no i'm just gonna do this so I'm just doing a panel which is four and a half by um, six and a half, I think. If not, I can always chop it down again. Thank you to all the people who have recently subscribed. I do appreciate it. So I can have that on there. So I think I'm going to do it landscape actually. So do it this way. So, um, let's see what we've got. I don't think I'm going to be able to just put it back together like it was. Just trying to find the bits that perhaps will fit into each other. Um, what I should have done was actually kept, kept it just bear with as I wiggle about here and hopefully get something and then we can just pop it together so it's a bit of a difficult one so let me see so this is what i used so let me see if i put this back in together on the actual that i cut it from which i think is this way yes That bit goes first. Oh, that piece goes first. Now, obviously, there's a slight bit of a space, and then I just pop that down there just now. I think I might have to put this onto some thing, and then this piece would. So that was the first piece. This would one of these is second piece. I'm not sure which bit it is. I think it's that one. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a Krypton factor-ish, isn't it? No, I think that went the opposite way, didn't it? Yes. It would go the opposite way. So that's, I'm just trying to get them in order so that I can then do something if I cut it up. That was all the really wanted to do here was get them that bit of order so that was cut from there so if I just keep these three down like 
that. Like so. I don't suppose they have to join up, but it would be nice. So if I just get my scissors, where's my, there they are, I'm a very, um, I'm just going to snip this off because I don't think I'll get that into there, I don't I think. Mm -mm. what we can put together here. I think what I need to do is I need to chop off this one at the end, I think. And take this one off at the end because that doesn't quite match up. And this is the beauty of these little dies as well that you can just snip away bits off it. Kind of tin, don't they? Right, I think what I'm doing gonna do is just go with that. Gonna go with that and these fit in as well. I know it's not a very big area, but I've decided that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring them down a bit and I'm gonna just put um a sentiment of some kind. I'm not sure yet what. <laughs> um, we'll see. Right, so I'm just going to glue this first one on. And oh, too much on there. Just go off a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down slightly further into the middle of the card. I'll pull this along very slightly as well. Now, <coughs> um, let's just wipe that off because I don't want a sticky mess. There we go. And let's see what we can do here. If that goes onto there. We could cut off these two that don't have, don't seem to fit. So let's just chop that piece off. And then I will pop this bit on here. was going to do so I think what I was going to do was going to put that doesn't quite fit in there does it though I chopped off the wrong bit just pull that bit off and just stick this wee bit down there we go so I'm just going to stick that piece I think on here and then I've got this piece but what 
Gosh, the camera, sorry, with my head. Mm. Nope, I'm going to leave that bit out. And let's see what else I've got. I thought it was these. I'll take the wrong bit out. Yeah. Take these two pieces out and. I'm going to chop this bit off the top. That doesn't quite fit. These two do. Let's pull that piece out. And put that bit on the end as well. Not quite going how I thought it would, but that's fine. <laughs> Just a bit of fun after all, isn't it? So let's put these two pieces onto here. That's it. Fine. And then pop this bit on. There, and let's see, let's see if we can pop something on the bottom here that might fit in. Mm -hmm. That would fit there. Let's take that end one off. Right, let's just pop that on and then. To there, so let me freeze that. That's gonna go there, isn't it? Yep. I don't know if there's any other wee bits I can pop on. That would. So that's the end there. Yep. Let's see. If there's any bits I could pop on up here. Maybe to the end. I'm just pulling it now. I know that you can cut it, but I think, well, maybe I'll cut this piece off, turn that round. There we go. And I'm just going to pop this bit on the top, and then that's me done. I'll do the sentiment. And that's all I'm going to do, because I find that a bit difficult of a challenge today. Never mind, not difficult, but a bit of a challenge. So, um, that was all I was going to do. Yes, let's just move it into place there. There we go. Oh. Need another one. I've got another one. So I'm just going to press that all into place, so it all kind of, and then I'm going to put a couple of bits that are just kind of at the end, so it looks like it could be a jigsaw kind of in the midst of getting um, made up, sort of thing. Oh, that's made. Don't want that to move. Want that to. In place, so I'm just going to pop a couple of bits on here at the side. So it looks like I'm kind of making up a jigsaw, but I'm not sure where I'm putting some of the stuff. Um, I think I'll put one up 
up here as well and then we can add a little bit of greeting in I think hang on one up there as well and maybe another I'm trying to think I've got this little piece of label that I found and I thought I might use it I don't have to I can just write some I thought I might just handwrite something because um, my handwriting is quite nice so I thought maybe I'd just do a bit of handwriting on it so I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to pop it on to here now A bit of a wee bit of a background, but I never saw nothing and got something on the base card. Never mind, it'll dry. Right, so I've got a black mic Uniball pen here. It's not Micron, it's Uniball. And what I'm going to write is, let me think, is. Your my missing piece. And then I'm just going to go around the edge, kind of just doing a bit of this. Totally making this up, you know. <laughs> so it doesn't matter that it's kind of wavy like that. I'm not too bothered. Um, just want to kind of make it my own. I don't like to do too much of copying other people's things and um, I'm just going to put a couple of wee dots right there, a few here I think and I think that's me so that's day three with the jigsaw piece of the gummy a pan advent calendar so Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on my design. And thanks so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with a new one. Bye for now.